Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Sam here. Rory's here as well. How are you doing, Rory? I'm good. I'm, I'm that is a very beautiful polo shirt. I sense uh, sarcasm. No, no, none at all. None at all. I'm Actually. not convinced. No, I, like I, it. I think I'm going to get grief as well. No, let us know in the comments. <laughs> is it beautiful? I think it is. We're here with news at 10 on Ball Street, as always, every Monday to Friday morning. All the latest news. Loads to talk about today. Rooney got a hat trick last night, 4 0 for Everton against David Moyes' West Ham at Goodison Park in front of their new boss, Sam Allardyce. A very rejuvenated performance. We'll have a video with his reaction from Ped from Toffee TV. As always, Arsenal winning 5 0. Mo Salah coming off the bench, getting two. Man City scoring another injury time winner. Lots and lots to talk about from the results last night. But first things first, let's go to the back pages like we always do and see what they are talking about. First things first, we've got the Daily Mail. Rooney runs riot. Hattrick lifts new boss Sam. Uh, Wayne Rooney did get the hat-trick against West Ham. It was a very good hat-trick as well. And he finished it off with, we just looked at the goal there, a brilliant, brilliant goal for his hat-trick. Joe Hart, what is he doing? Cl running out to clear the ball. That's where you're wrong. Why not? You're, you're being too harsh. You can't talk about a goal of that brilliance and then target a keeper. It's not... The keeper, the keeper completely fluffed his clearance. It's, that's equivalent to when Joe Hart messed up against uh, Sweden for England and Ibrahimovic scored that bicycle kick from outside the area. You don't focus on Joe Hart. You have to appreciate the brilliance and uh, ingenuity of the player. Right, well, we'll give it to Rooney then. I, I've, look, I was very vocal in the fact that I wanted Rooney to leave Man United mm. when he did leave, but I'm very happy that... He's had that moment in an Everton shirt because I'm. I'm Against wanted, David Moyes. Uh, <laughs> David Moyes back at Goodison Park, uh, managing a different club. That's the game before he got sacked as United. Maybe it's not going to be the game before he gets sacked as West Ham. But oh, maybe he's a bad manager. <laughs> he really is. Bless you, Adam. Let's move on. Mirror is the next back page. Too good to be true. Man, they, they're the Rooney puns. Oh, I like it. His his name is very punnable as far as papers are concerned. They must love it when he scores. Yes. Um, Wayne's magnificent hat trick ensures Big Sam's reign will get off to a flying start, and it really, really has. I mean, going from. Losing 5-1 to Atalanta and getting pumped by Southampton to pumping it's West Ham at home. It's hard for Allardyce now, though. Oh, no, it's not. Don't you think? Well, he, Allardyce hasn't managed that. Like, that was Unsworth's parting gift, wasn't I, it? I, I, again, it goes, uh, this, always does, this always really fucks me off about football players. And I'm, I'm Unsworth, right? he is still the manager there. And it just goes to show that it was purely an attitude problem that caused probably the loss against Southampton and they just couldn't be bothered. All of a sudden, it's Sunsworth's last game. The players up their levels, they win 4-0. There's one thing that may be needed to be mentioned here. No. You, one quick thing. Right, I'm listening. It's West Ham. It's not only about how good Everton were. Atalanta. Good point, well made. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, the Everton fans are very, very happy about this. None more so than Ped from Toffee TV. We always want to hear what he's got to say. And this was his instant match reaction from inside Goodison Park last night. You can't tell me that Sam Allardyce didn't have some influence on that performance because it was just like a Sam Allardyce kind of performance. Um, Ryan got a fantastic ovation at the end to cap off his, his, uh, his tenure as Everton caretaker manager. And we've got three points, we're up the table, and life looks completely different. And if we can come here on Saturday, do that again against Huddersfield, then you know we could get out of this mess a lot quicker than, than expected. So I'm just delighted. 4-0, happy days. Leave your comments, leave your reactions, I'll see you later. So as you can see, Ped talking about the Sam Allardyce effect and, you know, Sam Allardyce is expected to be announced as um, Everton's new manager today. Alan Pardew being announced as West Brom's manager yesterday. Uh, good luck with that, West Brom. But Sam Allardyce <laughs> effect, what, what Ped was saying there is that you could see a Sam Allardyce team straight away in turn, uh, even though Sam Allardyce isn't even managing yet, but in terms of how the players played, played in the deep bank of four, they kicked it long, they were organised. Yeah. And they took their chances when they got them. I, I completely agree. I think Allardyce is a very good manager. And I'm very worried. Chelsea are going to Everton two days before Christmas. And I think that I'm very fearful of being Allardyced. It's a problem. Is that a verb? I've made it one. Right. I just think that Allardyce knows how to win football matches. Mm -hmm. That Everton team, you know, I know it hasn't been going very well for them, but they do have some very good players in it. And I, I do think they've got it right this time, Everton. I think they've got the right man for the right job at the right time. They'll be fine. I think they will be fine. Uh, in terms of the other results from last night, we'll run through a few of them. Arsenal absolutely hammering Huddersfield at home 5 0. Huddersf good form, Arsenal. I know, United are playing them this weekend. Ozil How looked. How are you feeling? Um, 
I don't like playing Arsenal at the Emirates. Uh, we've again, we've got a bad record there. We've got a bad record at Stamford Bridge. Um, but something that we should fill you Mourinho. joy. Mourinho has an incredible record against Wenger. Uh, we lost it last year because uh, Mourinho gave up in the league because we we're in the Europa yes, League. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. he just sacked off to get away games against Arsenal and Spurs. We lost both of them, but we won the Europa exactly. League, so he was vindicated. Mm. This game hopefully will be a bit different, but Arsenal 5-0. Ozil getting two, go two assists and a goal in five minutes in a five minute period. He looked magical last night. Lacazette, he scored, but I'm not, a few comments there saying he might be injured. He's I'm injured, not sure. yeah. What happened? Yeah, I, um, I, just saw, I just saw on Twitter that he is pretty much guaranteed to be out of your game, which will probably mean that Danny Welbeck will get the winner again. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Right. Anyway, let's move on. Bournemouth, uh, they lost at home to Burnley to a wonderful goal from Robbie Brady. Uh, again, Sean Dyche's men, I think they're, yeah, we're above they're, Tottenham they're, in the league now. they're such a good team. Tottenham seventh at the moment. Ooh, that is a slight fall from Grace from a few weeks ago. You beating Chelsea one 0 but you had a lot of chances, so it should it could have been three four five. Yes. People made quite a few good saves. Yeah, it was. I think you've given us slightly more credit than we deserved. There, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a good performance. It was oh, really? a good result, but no, it was. It was flat. Oh dear. It was flat. But it was a win. It was a win, it. which is all that matters. I can't say getting sent off. Is there anything in that, or was it just? No, what? I mean, uh, the ball went out for a, what was obviously a corner. Like the rest of the ground, he was perturbed, but he didn't deal with it well enough and he was probably rightly sent off. I could see him irate on the touchline, but mm. you can't do that. I mean, yeah, not, not good. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, unfortunately, we've got to talk about Manchester City winning oh, God. again. Like Raheem Sterling, the little bastard. It was a beautiful goal in the 96th minute. Curl one in from outside the box. And something I want to tell you here, Raheem Sterling's clutch stats this year are absolutely phenomenal. He's got an 82nd minute equaliser against Everton, a 96th minute winner against Bournemouth, an 88th minute winner against Feyenoord, an 84th minute winner against Huddersfield, and now a 96th minute winner against Southampton. And this really pains me to say it, but Man City are scoring winners and equalisers Late in games, far too often. It's a for hallmark it to, champions. Isn't far it? too often for it to be considered luck. Now no. it's just like they're they're not giving up. They're pumping and pumping until they get the goal. That is an incredible group of stats. So well done on collating that. But that means that that means that Raheem Sterling on his own is worth twelve points. He has won that club already. twelve points already. That is an outrageous tally from him. I know, everyone's been talking about Mo Salah, who everyone rightly should be talking about him. Again, came off the bench last night, scored two goals, but Raheem Sterling right now with the league leaders, he's arguably played of the season so far ahead of Mo Salah, even though Mo Salah is the top scorer in the league because of those clutch goals and clutch moments. Yeah, I think I think that's fair enough. I think, it's, I think Salah will get the plaudits, and rightly so, and I think that Salah is definitely signing of the summer. You know, in terms mm. of all of the transfer activity that happened, you, you spent huge money, we, we broke our transfer record, but the signing of the summer is definitely Mo Salah. But the player of the season so far, I don't think you can give it to anyone other than Sterling. He's won his side 12 points. It's outrageous. I mean, it is outrageous. And uh, this weekend, Man United have got Arsenal. Uh, I'm not actually sure who uh, Man City have got. We should probably have sort of looked at that before we start. They've the got show. a very winnable fixture. Uh, they I'm have sure. got, they're playing on Sunday, are they? Uh, here we go. Matt, at home to, oh God. At home to David Moyes' West Ham. That's got 5-0 written all over it, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I imagine that West Ham fans won't be too optimistic regarding this oh, fixture. West Ham lose 4-0 away to Everton. What are they going to the do? The only thing you can hope, and I'm clutching at straws here, but the only thing that you can hope is that it will kick a, a reaction. There'll be something that happens after that terrible result, getting pummeled, Rooney scoring a hat-trick. There'll be some sort of a reaction, mm. and they'll go to Man City and somehow defend for their lives and nick a point. You really think they can do that? No, of course I don't. I'm just hoping. You're just hoping. You're just hoping. Right, and uh, the final result we we'll talked about last night is um, Liverpool away at Stoke. Uh, Mane got Liverpool off to the be not the best possible start in the first half. A very beautiful dinked finish, 1-0. And then Mo Salah came off the bench. It was an exquisite volley he scored to make it 2-0 and then just sweeped another one past the goalkeeper. I mean, I think he's scored more goals already this season than any Liverpool striker had in the past three years since Suarez left. Huge. Yeah, and yeah. he's not even a striker. It's a massive result as well. It's, a very, it's very much a cliched fixture, isn't it? Away at Stoke uh, on a Wednesday night in, around Christmas time. It's, it's a very hard place to win and they did it with a plump. Very impressive, very worrying. Uh, I mean, I mean is, it, is, it, is, it, 
It's your birthday, mate. It's not my birthday. It's your birthday. Well, what are you saying it's my birthday? It's, it's, it's like when people change your birthday on Facebook, you get loads Happy of messages. Birthday, Happy birthday, mate. It's, did you? It's not a thank you. Oh, why not? I'm happy Take to have two. I'll be like the Queen. I'll have two birthdays <laughs> in a year. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap it up on there after a little happy birthday. Thank for, you very for much. Rory today. It's 23rd. It's a big one, right? <laughs> just take it. All right, just take it. I anyway, know, thank know. you all for joining in. Thank you all for your comments today. And thank you for your birthday wishes. And thank you for your birthday wishes. Maybe even buy him a new shirt. Maybe me a new, <laughs> me a new jumper as well. Uh, join us tomorrow, as always, MUFC Daily. Not MUFC Daily. Oh, news at 10. <laughs> I'm swinging down here. Anyway, take it easy.